Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Good to see everybody. We've got the Sabar family, and they're going to be our musical highlight for the evening. There they all are. And we even have a little Spider-Man there. And yes, you're muted. And I'm going to share the screen in a moment. We are going to be singing a new song that some of you may know. It's called The Dinosaur Song. All right. There's a dinosaur knocking at my door, knocking one, two, three. There's a dinosaur knocking at my door, and he wants to have Shabbat with me. Well, he wants to light the candles, and he wants to drink the wine. He wants to eat the challah and have a great old time. There's a dinosaur. That was delightful. Go ahead, Eva. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Kitshanu B'Mitzvotav, V'tivanu L'Chadlikne, Shel Shabbat. Thank you, Eva. Now we have two people who are going to be doing the Kiddush. We have Lizzie and we have Zoe, right? Hi, Lizzie. All right, I'm gonna share my screen and share the kiddush. Go ahead, Lizzie. It's a short one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank <laughs> Oh, sorry. That's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. All right. Next song, David Melech. David Melech Israel. Hi, hi, Vikayam, David Malik 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 Israel. Hi, hi, Vikayam, Ima, Abba, Abba, Ima. Ima Abba. Abba Ima. Abba Ima. Ima Abba. Katan. Gado. Gado. Katan. Katan Gado. Katan Gado. Katan Gado. Gado Katan. Cain. Low. Low. Cain. Low. Low. Cain. 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 Low. H mime. Mime H. H mime. Peanut butter. Jelly. 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 Peanut butter. Peanut butter jelly. Jelly peanut butter. Jelly peanut butter. Peanut butter jelly. 
David Melech Israel, hi hi Vikayam. 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 Okay, who did it? Who was able to do that really fast? We are now going to continue with the Hatsi Kaddish and Jacob Davidson is going to be doing that for us. Bimru Amen, Hishme Rabba Mavara, Wa Awame Omaya, Ibara, Vipar Vishba, Vipar Vitaman Vitanasa, Vitatar Vitale, Vitala, Shmade Kushal, Breathe Hill, Wa Awami Kobi Hatavashir Hata, Tushba Hatavanamata. Great job, Jacob. Great job. Okay, we're going to now do the Baruchu, and we're adding a few words that I think many of you know, which is, am I awake? Remember, we do that in religious school, because in order to pray well, you need to be awake. La 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 One of the blessings that we say before we recite the Shema is the blessing of creation, that God created the evening and the stars and the moon. And Ezra Krohn is going to uh, recite the Ma'ariv Aravim. Um, 
Baruch Ata Adonai, Elohenu Melen Chalon, Asher Bibaros Mari Barabim, Behochma Patech Sharim, Vivuna Meshene Itim, Umachalif et Hazbanim, Umsaderech et Hakohabim, Bemish Berotechem, Barakira Kiritsona, Bare Yom Valila, Galil or Mipne Hoshech, Behoshech Mipne or Umeli Yom Umeli Lila. Umagdil Bain Yom Ulevain Lila, Adonai Tabo Shamo, El Hai Bekayam, Tamid Yamo Halina Lilam Baed, Baruch Adonai Hamari Baragi. Great job. Okay, and the next blessing is a blessing of the revelation of Torah, that out of love, God gave us Torah. Ahavad Olam is eternal love, and Elon Keller is going to recite that for us, or sing it. Ahavad Olam, Beit Yisrael, Amha Ahava, Torah umitro, hu kimi mishpatim, utanu lamadata, Alkane Adonai Eloheinu, Bishokainu Ukumainu, Naseh Bukeha, Venis Mampa di Vretora Teha, Umitho Teha, La Olam Vaed, Kihem Hyenu Vaora Yamenu. Uvahim Nege Nege Yomam Valila Va Avateha Altasir me menu la olamim Baruch Ata Anonai Ohev Avo Yisrael. Great. Good job, good job. And now let's all recite the Shema together, although muted. The Shema is the Ve'ahavta. So as much as God loves us, we are supposed to love God. And Ari Cohen is going to recite the Ve'ahavta. Go ahead. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha v'cho lavacha uvkome uvkho nasvecha uvkome odecha ve'hayu hadbarim ha'ele Asher Anohi Tavacha Hayom Alevabecha Vishino and Tom 
לבניך ודיברת הבם, ושיביתך בביתך ולתך ובדרך, וכשבך וקומך, וכשאתם לאות ידיך, והיו התותבות בין עיניך, ובתרתם המוזזות בין תך ובשערך. למען תזכרו ועשיתם את כל מצוותי ובתיהם קדושים אלוהים אני עני אדוני אלוהיכם אשר הוציאתי אתכם מארץ מתראים לאות לכם אלוהים אני אדוני אלוהיכם Good job. And you know what I really like? I like the fact that you were reading that. You weren't just reciting it. So it's important to be able to read the Hebrew. So good job, kiddo. Okay, Hannah Schlesselberg is going to read the English so that we all understand what the Vea Hafta is actually about. Go ahead, Hannah. Okay. You shall love Adonai your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. Take to heart these instructions with which I charge you to this day. Impress them upon your children. Recite them when you stay at home and when you are away, when you lie down and when you get up. Bind them as a sign on your hand and let them serve as a symbol on your forehead. Inscribe them on the doorpost of your house and on your gates. Thus, you shall remember to observe all my commandments and to be holy to your God. I am Adonai, your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God. I am Adonai, your God. Nice job. Thank you so much. And now we are going to sing the Micha Mocha, the song that we sang when we got through the sea on dry land, which was last week's Torah portion, if you remember. And if you remember in religious school, we looked at the fact that the words in the Torah actually split apart, just about like the sea splits apart. And Micha Mocha means, who is like you, God? Amazing. Ya la 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 la, ya la 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 la. Nice and spirited. Okay, Olivia, you're going to begin the tefillah for us, please. Adonai, sifatai, sifatai tita, ufiyagi, tehilatecha, Adonai, sifatai, 
Nice, you had a chorus behind you. <laughs> Asher Winston is going to be reciting the Devu wrote, talking about God's strength and power. Nice job. And next Friday, guess who's having a bar mitzvah? Yep, all set to go. All right, let's just take a very quick moment for silent prayer. And let's continue about the uh, with the Hoda'a, which is going to be chanted initially by Eli Sabar, who I think also has a chorus behind him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No de lecha unsaper tehila techa al chayunu hamsurim beya decha. Excellent. And Zoe is going to do the next paragraph. Vaal nishmotenu hapkidot la, vaal niseha shebaho, yom i manu, vaal nifla oteha vatovo teha shebaho, e erev vavokir vitsoha rhyme. Hatov ki lo halu raham neha vaham rahen ki lo tamu hasadeha me'olam ki vinula. Beautiful. Okay. And finally, Omri will finish this off. Ve al kulam mitvarah ve berman shim ham al kenu tami ve'alam ved ve'ko ve'ko hachayim yodu hasela vi ha Viha lelu et imha bemet ham el ha el yeshua tenu bezar tenu sala baruha tado nai hatov shimha ulhana elahodot. Nice job, nice job. And again, I'm glad to see people reading the Hebrew and not just reciting it by heart. Okay, now we're going to ask for some peace, which we could all use on many different levels. Oh, 
Okay, we are going to take a moment now to think of those in need of healing, whether of body, of mind, or of spirit. We think of congregants and friends and family of congregants, Jonathan Davidson, Kathy Cronenfeld, Jeff Hicks, Randy Rubin, Ben Henderson, Kara Gilman, Rabbi Steve Robbins, Gloria Mangus, Steve Lux, Leslie Ferris, Emily Pasquarelli, Julie Lapidus, Pamela Mangus, Johnny Sickhat, Jerry Hirsch, Amanda Burr, Marty Tarmo, Terry Ray Elmer, Jonathan Cox, Amy Morton, please add names as you wish in the chat or by unmuting. Joseph Hantman, Diana Anderson, Babette Cooper, Myrna Barth, Barbara Light, Saul Eppelbon, Elsa Raineri, Ron Jones, Ruth and Sandra Landis, Maureen Fenton, Lucy Davis, Diane Grassell, Kelly Broticum, Ali Laura Niles, Janice Parsley, Eric Peacock, Tom Richards, Elaine Burke, Jackson Griffin, Jacob Arbiter. Kim Co, Raul Camacho, Siri Gibbs. Tonight, instead of the Misha Barak we usually do, we're gonna do an, a different one. It's El Na Rafana La, Ana Saria. So if you could join the Sabars.
strength of body. Restore our strength of body. Help clarify our minds. Help clarify our minds. Refresh our tired spirit. Refresh our tired spirit. Rejuvenate our lights. Rejuvenate our lights. That was beautiful, beautiful, wonderful to have you, 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 the whole group singing. That's just so wonderful. Okay, uh, who knows what this week's Torah portion is? And people in religious school should know it because we talked about it on Sunday. Who remembers? Okay. Oh, somebody just raised their hand. Oh, Anya. Okay, Anya, what's a Torah portion? I believe it's Moses receives the uh, Ten Commandments. Moses receives the Ten Commandments. Yes. Yes. And Ezra Greenhouse just said, when did Joan Baez join the temple? And I assume that is a compliment for Missy, which is absolutely the case. She's got a gorgeous voice. Um, So, yes, Moses receives the Ten Commandments. Anybody know what that Torah portion is called? Now, this is a very important Torah portion, right? The Ten Commandments, right? The moment we get the Torah, the whole thing. So what do you think that would be called? Anybody? Any grown-ups? Okay, we've got a lot of shy people here. Oh, Andrea, Andrea knows. I'm hoping I'm not wrong now, but Yitro. Absolutely, Yitro, Yitro. Now, who is Yitro? Anybody know who Yitro is? <gasps> Andrea, father who's Yitro? Ruth, what? The father-in-law, the father-in-law. Moses' father-in-law. Absolutely. We call him Jethro in English for some reason. Okay, so this is really interesting because this is like one of the most important Torah portions, right? We're getting the Torah, we're getting the Ten Commandments, and it's named after Yitro, who is not an Israelite. Isn't that amazing that we call a whole Torah portion after a non-Israelite for one of our most important Torah portions. Now, what does Yitro do aside from having the Torah portion named after him? Anybody know what he does? Andrea seems to have really learned a lesson, but I'm wondering if anyone else knows what Jethro does. What does Jethro do when he comes? He's coming to the camp and he sees Moses judging all the people. And is Moses energized by that? He's burnt out by it. He's working too hard. So Andrea, what does Jethro do? Basically, Jethro tells Moses that you need to delegate. You need to delegate. That's an important lesson. You need to delegate. You can't do everything yourself. So Jethro, gives Moses the idea of a whole system of judges. And Moses is the Supreme Court, basically. Now, the other thing that Jethro does, which is very interesting, is he comes to the camp with Moses' wife and two kids. Oops, it seems like Moses forgot that he had a family. And until his family is there, 
God's not going to give the laws because guess what? Family is important and you can't just spend your whole life working, right? Okay, we're going to look at a little bim bomb video to talk about this week's Torah portion. So here we go. And. <clears throat> oh, not again. Okay. And if you got to be muted so it doesn't interfere, here we go. This week's Torah portion tells a story of when the Jews received the Ten Commandments. You know the Ten Commandments, right? Adonai is the only God. Don't worship idols. Don't take God's name in vain. Do keep Shabbat. Do honor your parents. Don't murder. Don't commit adultery. Don't steal. Don't lie. Don't covet. Yeah, those Ten Commandments that the Jews went to Mount Sinai to receive. Isn't it strange that this parsha isn't named the Ten or Commandments or Sinai? and instead is named after Moses' father-in-law, Yitro, Moses' non-Jewish father-in-law? This week begins with Yitro coming to see Moses and bringing along his whole family. What he finds is Moses working himself to exhaustion, trying to answer all of the questions that the people have and give all of the judgments to the Israelites. From morning to night, Moses judges the people. Who should get this lamb? Who is responsible for this slave's injury? How shall we split this portion of wheat? Morning, noon, and night, Moses is providing judgments. His father-in-law, Yitro, like all grandfathers, would like to see Moses spending a bit more time with his family. Now, he has two ways to try and fix this. The first, which is the easiest, is to lecture Moses on all of the reasons he should be spending more time with his family and less time at work. Moses probably would have felt guilty promised to change his ways, and then nothing would have changed. Instead of lecturing Moses, Yitro looks at it from Moses' point of view. Moses knows that the people need to have someone helping them make these decisions, but can only see himself acting as the judge. Yitro offers another solution, a solution that meets the needs of Moses, Moses' family, and the Israelites. Yitro suggests to Moses that he set up a system of judges and courts. He tells him that men can be trained to make the decisions and help settle arguments. Moses sees that his father-in-law is making a wise suggestion and appoints judges to make the decisions about splitting a portion of wheat, taking responsibility for an injury, and ownership of a lamb. Then Moses was able to go back to his family and share the responsibility of judging with more in the community. This portion reminds us not only to pay attention to the big commandments, but to look for solutions before complaining to a friend about their behavior. Yitro didn't just complain to Moses, he offered a solution. Think about times when you wish someone would do something in a different way. Did you complain about what he was doing, or did you offer them a way to do it differently? This portion tells us that we have the responsibility to help others with suggestions rather than just complaints. How can you be a little bit more like Yitro? Okay, so what did we learn from that little video? There's a big echo somewhere. So tell me, young folks who listened very carefully, what, what did you learn from that? Omri, you look like you'd like to answer that question. Um, that we should spend time with our family. Okay, we should spend time with our family. What else? One of the big issues is that people are um, complaining. Yeah, who's that? That's uh, Zoe. Zoe, good, okay. I think that it was like, if you're gonna complain about somebody, also give them like an alternative. Thing to do instead of just complaining. Excellent. So everybody keep this in mind. If you want to complain about something, oh, this is not the one. Huh? Think of a solution, right? There are always solutions to problems, right? So that's really important. That's what Yitro did. He came and he gave Moses a solution. Because guess what? What would you rather do? get yelled at and told you're doing something stupid or wrong or whatever, or have someone come and give you an idea of how to do it better. What do you think, Ari? 
Which one would you prefer? Would you prefer having somebody yell at you or give you another way of doing something? Hmm, that's a tough one, huh? Okay, what about, how about Eli? Eli, what would you rather do? He's muted, but you gotta unmute so we can hear your answer. Um, give us, give a solution. You'd rather somebody have a solution to give you, right? Yeah. Okay, so we should all remember this. Next time we wanna complain about something, let's think about a solution we can offer first, okay? Oh, Andrea, please. Also, I wanted to point out a middle step that I really love about Yitro um, is that Yitro takes a second to think about Mo how Moses might have felt. He empathizes, he puts himself in Moses's shoes and expresses to Moses how he thinks Moses might be feeling. Oh, good, very nice, very nice. It's all, always important to put yourself into somebody else's shoes because you never know what's going through someone else's head, right? A lot of times we make assumptions, oh, he or she is, or they are doing something. You know, and it's because of this and it's not because of that at all. Maybe they had a bad day, right? Okay, so I would like to, first of all, thank the Sabars for your beautiful music. I love the fact that the whole family sings and so does everyone else. Um, beautiful voices, beautiful energy. And I'd like to thank Amy for doing all the behind the scenes, uh, changing of the slides and everything with a very uh, recalcitrant computer today. And unfortunately you can't really argue with a computer and say, hey computer, you know, I, I know how you feel today, but I have a better solution. It doesn't work with computers, it works with humans. So thank you despite everything for uh, getting through this. So <clears throat> I'd like to ask if anyone has announcements, I'd like to keep the announcements short. So if you have something that's going to take a lot of time, please wait till after the service and then we can sort of have a pseudo own egg and you can take <laughs> as much time as you want. Um, so Jason has an announcement. I would just like to make sure everyone who's here knows that they are invited to join us next Friday night, which is not a family service, but it is a temple joining together to celebrate with Asher. So I hope as many of you can come for the bar mitzvah as possible. And uh, there's no uh, RSVPs required. No one has to drive anywhere. We'll just uh, hopefully see you all here. Thank you. Yes, and I, I would like it's to 30. underline that, especially 30. you know for kids who have upcoming B'nai Mitzvah, it's a good idea to uh, see how, it, how it's done. We're kind of merging Friday and Saturday morning together into the Friday service because um, we're just gonna do Friday night. The service is at 6.30. 6.30, okay? Because we're doing a tour service and we decided that it's a good idea to um, try to have a little extra time for that. So yes, everyone is invited. Hope everyone can, can join us. Um, other announcements? Looking around here. Andrea, we don't have religious school next. I mean, we have it this, this Sunday, but not next Sunday, have right? Yeah, because for correct. Valentine's Day, obviously, we have to take the day off. No, that's not the reason. It's for President's Day weekend. Day. <laughs> I know. I'm just it kidding. happens to be Valentine's Day. Yeah, so. yeah, it happens to be Valentine's Day, but it's really the, um, yeah. Um, so anyone else? Petersons are over here, and uh, we just wanted to uh, congratulate Aubrey and Anya. They were accepted into the National Honor, so Honor Society this past week. and so Fantastic. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. That's wonderful. And one other thing, this is more for the entire congregation, um, uh, for folks who have already received their first uh, COVID vaccine dose, um, and they're concerned about maybe having to schedule the second one, uh, we, I found out today that the, um, that the county is going to be contacting you guys directly about a week ahead of time, so you don't have to worry about booking something well in advance, they, they, will, they will contact you, and they'll send you your own personal link to be able to get your second uh, COVID dose, so 
hopefully that helps public service message out there for the. Oh, and I just I just saw a message that you put in the chat about teachers on Zoom who have a few words to say about burnout. Yes, I think many of us, many of us are ex experiencing burnout at this point. Uh, I mean, burnout just being on Zoom all day long, right? If nothing else. But we're also lucky to have Zoom. Otherwise, how would we be communicating with each other? We'd have a phone tree going on for our Shabbat service, right? Okay, I think Johanna, did you have something you wanted to say? I, I think I saw Yes, that. thank you. Just real quick, Beth, the junior youth group is having a February event as well and an email was sent out. So if everybody could check their emails, look, look in their emails for the, the information about that. Please. I'm in touch. Yes, Zoe is a, uh, not only is she a chef, but she has her own little channel with um, cooking shows. And she let us in making challah a week ago, and now she's going to teach us how to make hamantaschen, which, of course, this year, since all the holidays are early, uh, we are going to have a Purim is coming up like in a couple of weeks. And then Passover is the end of March, not to mention high holidays, which happen to be Labor Day weekend. Okay, don't even ask what we're doing. I have no idea. No idea. Okay, I don't know if we'll be in person, if we'll be in a hybrid situation. I, I have no idea. If anybody knows, please tell me. Okay. Um, by the way, for those interested in meditation, I hope you saw that uh, February 13th, which is a week from tomorrow, Howard Rubin is going to lead a meditation service over Zoom at 10 o'clock in the morning, Saturday morning. And then he's going to have a series of six um, meditations on Sunday afternoons. So that's one thing I would just want to make sure everybody knows about. Also, this Sunday, for those who are not in religious school, um, hi, Amy. OK, um, for, for those who are not in, in religious school, Sunday at 10 AM will be the first of three uh, classes or, or, or sessions on aging with grace. And this particular Sunday, it'll be Rabbi Laura Geller, who is the Rabbi Emerita of Temple Emmanuel in Beverly Hills, is going to talk about aging with grace and about setting up villages so that people can age at home and not have to necessarily go into a facility, depending on how you know, active they are. Um, and then March 7th, we'll have Rabbi Doug Cohn who's gonna talk about Alzheimer's and other uh, long-term illnesses. And then in April, we'll have another one, but that's far away at this point. Okay, anyone else have any announcements before we move on? Anybody is interested, we're having another free Tai Chi class through RCC Young at Heart. It's for seniors only, it's on Zoom. The beginning class will be Tuesday and Thursdays at one o'clock, but you have to sign up through Riverside Community College. Right. Which, okay. Oh, anybody's interested, they can get a hold of me about that. Right. I just saw that Jacob, Jacob Davidson, you have something you want to say? Jacob? Okay, he said he has something to say, but I don't know what happened. I'm here. Oh, there you are. Okay. Um, so I actually have two things. The first one is my dad's facility is now COVID free. So Yay. he just today. And the second is I'm bridging to Boy Scouts on the 11th of February. Wait, what are you doing with the Boy Scouts? I'm bridging to Boy Scouts. Oh, 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 oh. So you're graduating to the next level. Wonderful. Well, Mazel Tov on both of those things. That's great. Thank you for sharing that with us. Okay, I think that's it, unless please speak now or forever hold your peace. Who has a birthday in the month of February? Okay, let's start with Carol Lee. Tell us who you are, etc. Hi, I'm Carol Lee Jaspin, and I will be, would you believe it, 83 on the 13th of February. I cannot believe it, and I, I want to be you when I grow up. <laughs> I, I feel 38. Well, you act 38, so that's great. <laughs> okay, who else has a birthday in February? Uh, Alan. Is it Alan or Elon? 
It is Alan. I am 53 on Monday. Great. And who else? I want a lollipop. You want a lollipop? I'll mail it to you, okay? Okay. I'll be. Oh, uh, Omri. Uh, um, my birthday's on February 23rd, and I'm turning 12. Oh, boy. Okay. Here. Kara Gilman's birthday is on uh, the 12th of February. And Noah's going to be 16 on the 6th of February. Oh boy. Wow. 16, I cannot believe. I know. Happy birthday to both of you. I'll be 74 on the 9th. Oh my goodness, really? Boy, you guys are all so young looking and acting. Happy birthday. Okay, uh, Eric, can we sing Young Who Let It? Sameach? Sure. Sure, okay. Yo. <clears throat> Many, many more. Okay, before we do the Alenu, we're going to also um, see if anybody has any anniversaries in February. And anybody have an anniversary in February? Regina. Irv and I will be married 52 years on February 15th. Wow. Okay, what's the secret? And we're only 40 years old. No. <laughs> What's the secret of this long marriage? Respect. Respect. Okay, that's a good thing to know. Who else? Um, uh, um, uh, my um, grandma and grandpa have an anniversary in February. Oh, and do you know how many years they've been married? Um, 48. And 48. Wow. Yeah. Great. So yeah. anyone else? All right. I, if that's it, I'm going to say Mazel Tov to everybody who has a birthday and Mazel Tov to everybody who has an anniversary and Mazel Tov to all the young people tonight who shared their prayers with us. And we will continue with the Aleinu. Alenu le shabeach la don hakol la teit gedula leotzer breishit shelo asanu kegaye haratzot velo samanu kemish bechor hadama shelo sam helkenu kahem vego ralenu kehol hamonam vanach nu korim umish tahavim umodim. Livne Melech Malhe Hamlahim Akadosh Baruch Hu Shehu no Teshamayim Veyaser Aretz Umoshev Yekaro Bashamayim Mimal Ushchi Natuzo Ushchi Natuzo Begav Hemeromim Hu Eloheinu Enod Emet Malkeinu Efezulato Kakatu betorato viadata yom behashavota eleva veha ki adonai huha elohim bashamai mima ve al haaretz ve al haaretz mitachat enod enod. Kakatu vetoratecha Adonaiim loch leolam ba'ed Venemar vechaya Adonai Lemelech al kol ha'aretz Bayom ha'hu, bayom ha'hu Yihye Adonai echad Ushemo, Ushemo, 
ושמו אחד. And we now take a moment to think of those who are no longer with us. May their memories be for a blessing. We're observing Shiva for Heshi Glick and Shloshim for Maggie Johnson and Janice Judman. And are there others in that mourning period or in the first year of mourning who would like to add a name? You can either unmute or share it in the chat. Sue Jones. Werner Kopel. Brent, Werner Kopel, Brenda Oppenheim, Arnie Geller, Karen Leopold, Michael Greenstein, Clay Fetter, Roberta Abrams, Adele Lucas, Sam Newhouse, And uh, we have yard sites. Oh, I'm sorry, Carol Rainsbarger, John Simano. And we have yard sites this Shabbat for Edmund Eisenberg, Saul Geller, Sid Geller, Benjamin Exler, Lloyd Alberga, Fanny Hockman Scordia, Sadie Herman, Carol Brown, David Finns, Edna J. Stein, Stephen Baum, Bess Wilkerson. Maxwell House, Letha Wilchick, Samuel Diskin, Ida Simon, Saul Grossman, William Urban, Joyce Ginsburg, Douglas Horn, Martha Arteague, Esther Goffman, Albert Levy, Marvin Kameri, Edith Coleman, Karen Mankin, Rebecca Branfield, Alvin Feldman, John Cox, Lewis Sales. Are there any other yard sites? Sid, Saul Geller, Edmund Eisenberg. Any other names? And we think, of course, of those who perish in the Holocaust and have no one to say the Mourner's Kaddish for them. If you would like, you can unmute during the Mourner's Kaddish. Yit Gadal, Be'i Kaddash, Shemei Rabah. Be'almad Yifrach Nechutei, Be'yamlich Malchutei, Be'chayachon U'be'yomechon, Be'yedechu Be'yit Yisrael, Be'agala U'be'zman Kari, Amen. Heish me Raba me Barah me Alam me Alme Almaya. Me Barah me Shabah me Paar me Olam me Nase. Me Tadar me Tale me Talal. Me Dikuda Shab. La Ela min Kol Bich Hata Veshirata. Tush Bchata Vanechimata. Da Amiran be Alma. May the source of peace and peace to all who mourn and comfort to all who are bereaved as together we say amen. Uh, Amy, is it possible to make that full screen? It's yeah, not, thank you for making me full screen, but can you make the slide full screen? We're going to conclude the service with a Spider-Man Shabbat, which is a song, I believe, that was written by the Sabars. And I believe that it is a favorite of a particular Sabar. Um, it's still not full screen, but I guess we'll just use it this way. Okay, let's sing no. Spider-Man Shabbat. Shabbat Spider-Man. Oh, I'm sorry. Spider-Man. 
Spider-Man, Spider-Man, dash your bot like no one can. Brings a bottle of tasty wine, swings through the door just on time. Hey there, Shabbat loving Spider-Man. Can he need, can he braid, his holla looks like it's Spider-Made. Can he sing, can he dance, looks so good in his spider pants. Hey there, Shabbat loving Spider-Man. Says the prayer so fine, they come straight from the heart. It's a magical time of Canada's Hall of Family and Wine. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does Shabbat like no one can. Sees the light in all of us and never forgets to do Havgalah. Hey there, Shabbat loving Spider-Man, he's a mensch with a pair of candles. Shabbat loving Spider-Man. I like the effects, Judah. Very nice. Who, who did you you wrote that, right, Eric? Or who wrote that? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Just the words, not the song. Oh. You know that it's the Spider-Man theme song. Oh, the Spider-Man theme song. I see. Yeah. Okay. I I wouldn't have recognized it, but thank you for clarifying. Okay, Eva is going to do our mozi. We see your face. We give thanks to God for bread. Our voices rise in song together as a joyful prayer is said. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu Melcham, Hamotzi Lachemim Haaretz. Thank you, Eva. Okay, folks. Shabbat Shalom, and if Shabbat you'd shalom. like to stick around for a little bit so that we can just chat, please feel free to do so. If you need to leave, have a great weekend. And thank you for the beautiful music, beautiful service. The young people did a great job. Yes. And Sabaris and Rabbi, thank you for letting me come. Although something on my computer it keeps well, as you noticed, more than one person has a problem with their computer. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so you never know. All of a sudden, I, I something still that works fine, all of a sudden there. stops keep, working. Keep coming back. Yeah. So everybody is complimenting the Sabars on their beautiful music. I hope you're reading that in the chat. Okay, thank you. And, and, and all uh, the young people did a great job. Yes, yes.